Have you ever been in a situation where you want to upgrade or just change out your old outlet and you're already in process of unwiring everything to change it out to a brand new GFCI or just like the one that you see on the left? You already started wiring it and you're in process of inserting in the J box and come to find out that it just doesn't fit. Well, I got a solution for you. Welcome back to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. This outlet has seen better days. It is painted from the old owner, and I just want to change it out. But first, let's drop off the area because we're going to be creating some debris dust from the drywall. First things first, let's take out the cover plate from our outlet and we're going to be using a voltage detector this one is by milwaukee i love using this thing i don't do any electrical work without it, it saves my life every time and it beeps and turns red if it detects any type of current word of caution friends if you're uncomfortable working with any type of electrical please consult a certified electrician before you do this work okay so let's get into the work again let's take out the outlet let's unscrew the old outlet and as you can see it is very crusty from all the texture and paint from the past owner again i'm going to double check it with my voltage detector now take your phillips or your flathead screwdriver and just loosen up the screws that are supporting those hot and neutral and ground wiring and all you gotta do is pull them out depending on how they did it you can either cut them off as well i'm going to be upgrading this outlet to the left one as you can see it's a lot girthier a lot bigger than what you see on the right and it has a larger back so as you can see this old j box is an older style it measures up to two and a half to three inches in the inside that's why we're going to change it out to this old work j box make sure that is ul certified that means it's been tested and it's good to go and it's up to code so this is what we call an old work j box this is not your typical j box with the nail on the back end where you can hammer it onto a stud it comes with these little tiny tabs that when you do end up screwing it like this it does pop up just like that and it goes forward which locks into place behind your drywall so it pretty much just clamps onto the back of your drywall making it secured now this old j box as you can see where i'm pointing at is secured by two nails um, which is pretty much um, exposed at right there you can clearly see it but what we're going to do is we need to cut this old j box off so Two options you got one where you can use this handheld hacksaw which will take you a very long time it does take a lot of work i got impatient I actually got a flathead screwdriver and started prying that off um trying to attack it in different ways which is very very time consuming and it actually kind of damaged my drywall on that perimeter right there but instead of tying yourself out with this handheld hacksaw thank goodness i have available my handheld sawzall now this, you can have these bits where you can pretty much install for wood or you can use it for metal. And I'll leave this in the description down below if you're interested. Again, this is my go-to every time I do these type of work. Again, just be very careful. Make sure there is no electrical power. Make sure to turn off the power from your breaker and just pretty much go to town and it slices like butter. There you have it. We have our old J box out. It is very crusty. There you go. I kind of damaged the edge. And now we're going to relieve a little bit on the drywall. I'm using my square. Again, not only necessary if you're using a bigger J-Box, but if not, then don't worry about this step. I'm using my handheld hacksaw just to trim out a little bit so that this old work J-Box will fit perfectly right when I insert it through those wires and through that wall. Now that everything's nice and cleaned up, just take out your existing wire and fit it right behind your J box. There you have it. Make sure you place it nice and aligned with the hole. This is optional step. If you have an extra piece of this one's a 12 by 2 gauge wire. If you have an extra one, just split it, splice it open and pretty much open up each one of the ends right here of the neutral and the ground wire. Just take your stripper and then just take out only take out about at least half. To a three quarters of an inch on each edge and i'll be i'll be using these wagos these wagos connectors are my go-to i love these things i love these wagos they're quick all you gotta do is insert the wire and just close off the latch right there and you're good to go same thing where we're gonna do with the other types of wires and again if your wires are too short and you want to extend them this is the way to go but again this is optional in this case 
my wires are long enough i'm not going to be doing this but just in case i want to show you this option now the last step of this project all you got to do is take your impact wrench or your drill and just pretty much tighten those screws on the diagonal sides and it pretty much those tabs will clamp onto the back of that drywall and tighten it in place again all the tools are here Mo most of the tools that i use are here i'll leave it in the description down below and there you have it take your new gfci or new smart outlet like what you see in this one and then just insert it through the back make sure you cor place it collect correctly on the right um inserts tighten down the ground wire place it in and then screw everything back in and it should be looking like that looking all nice and now it's nice and flush now this plate is an upgraded plate that i'm using it pretty much hides the screws that's why i chose this one you initially put this plate on first and then you push it in with this cover plate so once again friends if you found this video super helpful please hit that big thumbs up please put subscribe and press that notification bell so you can always be in tune on diys how-to videos and product reviews that i do within this channel till then see you on the next one